Good evening. What's going on there, folks? Uh, thanks for checking in. Uh, it is the Earthmaster out here on this Monday night, November 13th, 2023. It's about 10.23 p.m. here, California time. And the latest activity looks like a 3.5 here, just off the coast of the uh, northern Sumatra region, northern edge of the Java Trench. Let's go ahead and check out earthquake activity here across the Iceland area first. Still seeing some movement kicking up here. Uh, about 150 earthquakes or so in the last six hours, uh, including, uh, looks like we did see a three-pointer in there as well. Um, north of Grindavik area, they seem to think this is a region where most of the magma accumulation is headed towards uh, around this area. Also did see, uh, looks like a 2.8 or so, just on the southwestern edge of the Grindavik area of Iceland. Uh, definitely still watching this. The latest informational statement here does show uh, what looks like a pretty drastic drop in the um, in uh, the inflation here. This is the time period between the 10th and 11th of November. Uh, this here almost uh, is about a meter drop here across this area. This was really inflated here um, prior to this time frame, and uh, the whole region is definitely still seeing some inflation activity going on here with migration along the uh, area of uh, this magma intrusion right here. That's going to be the area of interest. And uh, it's interesting to see, though, the uh, actual uh, dipping here because magma is moving around underneath this area. Uh, the latest, again, the latest informational statement here, the uh, volcano is currently not erupting. This update was put out this morning. They've been doing daily updates. Um, so we're just still kind of watching it. Uh, it could happen tonight. It could happen here in the next couple days before we see some uh, major fissures open up with some uh, volcanic activity returning here to the Iceland region. I'll definitely keep an eye on it. All right. Uh, real, quick re uh, real quick update here on earthquake activity worldwide. Still seeing some movement here. Uh, outside the Papua New Guinea area with a 5.4, that earthquake coming in in the last hour. We really haven't seen, uh, I keep saying that here, we haven't really seen that migration here. It's almost like a wall uh, that's preventing any further momentum across this area. A lot of times when we see this build up like this and back build and keep building earthquakes here, uh, we'll eventually see a larger quake take place here across the Java Trench. 3.5, well shy of a large earthquake, but keep an eye on that region. Uh, there's a movement there around Papua New Guinea. Quite a bit of deeper uh, activity here across regions of the Tonga Trench and the Kermadec Trench here. Uh, looks like the latest though, 4.3 there, 334 kilometers deep. A uh, handful of other quakes in there as well. Not for sure if the USGS not reporting that or what, but uh, looks like there may be a handful more than what they are showing. Uh, a 3.5 down here right on the plate boundary, South Island area. And uh, there's some movement, some deeper uh, quakes going on there under North Island. Let me run over here real quick and see what's going on with the GeoNet servers. With that, it almost looks like some deeper movement uh, taking place out there. Uh, all magnitudes. Looks like it was fairly recent. There's a 3.5 South Island here. A couple deleted events, a couple events there along the Kermadec Trench. Um, goodness. Let's see here. Check out the earthquake drums. Uh, doesn't look like there's a whole lot of activity up here, North Island area. There's that uh, five pointer that struck the uh, uh, Kermadec Trench earlier. Since then, a handful of smaller quakes, most of them look like they're going to be here around the South Island area. There's some of that uh, smaller movement showing up on the graphs. Nothing big for now. All right, uh, the Big Island of Hawaii, that's another thing that we're just kind of watching here. Continued inflation and continued earthquake activity here across the area of the Kilauea Volcano, just south here of the Kilauea Crater region, Lava Lake. Let's go ahead and zoom in there and check out the latest inflation data across that volcano. See what's going on here. As we uh, check out this tilt meter, the one I normally check out is UWE. It seems to work uh, most of the time. Last two days, a little bit of uptick here. And now it looks like within the last few hours, a little bit of downtrend. A little bit of deflation going on. But the overall trend here is definitely high. 
Uh, not quite as high, obviously, as the Iceland activity, but still, for the Kilauea Volcano, um, just watching it here, things eventually have to get busy. Uh, if they're continuing to inflate down there, as far as the magma intrusion goes, that it's going to have to uh, come out eventually to the surface. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity currently occurring there around the Kilauea uh, Summit region, though. All right, uh, west coast areas real quick. Typical movement up here across the Cascades. Still seeing some movement across Mount St. Helens. Nothing major going on there yet. Uh, minimal activity here across the west coast. 2.5 map and above. Well, it looks like we did have a 2.9 here uh, earlier this afternoon south of the border. Uh, but aside from that movement from early this morning out here in the 2.5 range, most of this activity, generally microquake movement here outside of the Avenal region. Uh, there in the um, San Joaquin Valley area. San Andreas Fault, pretty quiet for now. Rest of the country here. A little bit of earthquake activity scattered about the land, but nothing major going on. Same for the South America region. Let's go ahead and double check that out there. A couple smaller quakes going on there in the area. Uh, Middle America Trench, quite a few threes and fours popping off here, it looks like. Um, but that's always seems to be the case out there. A um, couple fours up here across the Kuril Kamachaka. Nothing major going on there for now. Uh, I do have a 5.5 coming in, but I don't think that's going to be accurate. The EMSC model, whenever it reports earthquake activity for the Spain region, they... Whatever the purpose, they overblow it. Uh, they over uh, blow the magnitude in terms of the uh, you know that magnitude around the area. There's definitely not a five pointer that I can see popping off here at all. Uh, we do have a 1.9, maybe some other smaller quakes out there, uh, but definitely not any five pointers. Otherwise, we would see this see this here on their map. So uh, I, I keep saying it and I keep mentioning it because whenever this happens, I'd like to point out. Uh, just be skeptical of these larger magnitudes that they're showing around uh, around this area. And it mostly has to do with the Spain region. All right, uh, what else we got here, folks? I'm a little tired. I could not sleep at all last night. Goodness, I don't know what was going on. Uh, I'm definitely going to try to sleep tonight. Uh, let's see, a little bit of movement out in the Tajikistan, Tajikistan area early this morning. Slight divergent boundary activity down here. Uh, but overall, looks like uh, plate tectonics live on. We'll just continue to watch the Iceland area for uh, you know some uptick there, maybe in potential earthquake activity. We we'll obviously know that the magma is on the move down there uh, around the Grandovic area. All right, space weather activity. See what's going on here. That's another thing we're just kind of keeping an eye on as well. Sunspots getting active as they cross the western limb out here. Out of sight, out of mind, they will be here tomorrow. We're left with, uh, looks like maybe a new active region out here across the northeastern limb of the sun. Just barely peeking around the corner. That's going to be, well, it's not named yet. But getting a little bit better glance at it. Shows some bright regions, well, uh, brighter colored regions out here. Uh, within that sunspot core so we'll keep an eye on that area in the coming days right now 90 percent chance for a c flare m flare at 25 x flare around five percent chance but not a whole lot of activity currently taking place uh, not a whole lot of elevated auroras for now and we'll just continue to watch that uh numerical models we do have some rain coming out here to california not a big deal in fact uh we'll be lucky if we get a tenth of an inch uh, until roughly about Friday or Saturday when a little bit more comes in, but uh, not really expected much. Big time storms down in Texas, it looks like, as we head into early next week. And uh, we'll just keep an eye on things. I'm really not seeing any major weather pattern changes out here. Well, maybe way towards the end of uh, November. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, Thanksgiving Day uh, time period, see what we have going on here for early next week. Got a low pressure system out there. Going to tap into some colder air potentially, it looks like, around uh, the uh, Thanksgiving time period for the a portion of the East Coast. 
high pressure building out here along the west. Goodness. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's going to last for long. Again, these weather models have been a little disappointing here recently with uh, their accuracy. All right, uh, I think that's about it, folks. Um, other than that, uh, we'll check back on the Iceland area activity tomorrow. I can see that uh, obviously where the general magma intrusion has taken place there within about that 15 kilometer uh, area around the uh, Grindavik area of Iceland. We'll continue to watch it and report back on it. Right now, 146 earthquakes there in the last six hours. We'll take a look at that early in the morning. See if, uh, see if anything changes here. Have a good night, folks, and uh, enjoy your, well, it's Monday night, right? Tuesday tomorrow. Take care.